what's up guys today i'm going to go through how to add cartoon characters into your videos just like this one that i saw was trending over on instagram recently first of all you're going to need the cartoon character on a green screen or with the background cut out you can usually find these online if they're trending at the time this one i downloaded the original which i'll link in the description and give credit to i cut out the background using mroto ai effect so here's a video clip that i want to add this effect to to do advanced 3D motion tracking, you're going to need a plugin because Final Cut Pro only does 2D tracking. If I go over to my effects tab over here and we go down to the M tracker 3D and just drag this onto the video clip. I'll leave a link to this plugin down in the description so you can go check it out for yourself. There's a 14 day free trial which you can try. I'm going to click track footage. Now it needs to analyze the video and create some tracking data. This is usually pretty quick. Now, once it's tracked, we just click on copy tracker, and then I'm going to bring in, go to my titles tab over here and go to the M tracker 3d section. And in here, they have a bunch of built in assets that you can track to the video clip. I'm going to use the drop zone one and just add this on and just trim that to the video clip up here in the parameters. I'm going to click paste track. Tracking data saved successfully, okay. Now we need to click this button here. It should show different tracking points and I want to place my image right here. I'm going to hold shift so that it will just place the image upright and then click right there. And if we skim through, then it should show the drop zone in the correct place. And if that looks good, then we just need to add the image into the drop zone. So over here, I'm going to untick animations in and out because I don't want it to animate. And then down here on the drop zone, click that and then click our cutout image of the cartoon character and press apply clip. And you'll see there's also a built in shadow way too far from the actual image. So to change that, you need to change the drop zone position and bring the drop zone position down until the shadow meets the the image and then we can go back to content position and put that up base the feet exactly where the center of this target is and it gives a really nice track so now we just need to change the scale so that it fits the video clip so now we have a really nice track for that cartoon character and it stays in the exact place that we wanted it to so now if we go back to the parameters over here so we have a lot of different settings for the shadows and the light on the image. So you can fine tune it so that it fits into the scene. We can change the position of the shadow, which is very useful. And also the angle. If you wanted to add any more effects to the tracked image that aren't in this list over here of parameters, then you will need to add the effect to your original image and then add it back into the video. So just for example, if I wanted to add my own shadow to this, I can go to my effects tab and search for drop shadow, add on the drop shadow. If we go back to the drop zone, click on the drop zone in the parameters and then click on the original video, apply clip. Now, if I get rid of the shadow, it has the shadow that I added over here that is now in the video clip. Moving on to the focus pull effect that I did on the intro, where it zooms in to the character and blurs out the background. I'm just gonna go through how I created that really quickly. So here we have the character already tracked into the video clip. I'm going to add a zoom into the character and then blur out the background so it gives like this focus pull effect. So over here in my titles tab, I'm going to, to zoom in. I'm going to go down to smooth camera zooms. This doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's a really cool plugin that you can just zoom into a certain part of the video. Ramped, zoom in, and if I drag that on here, and then change the target so the target goes down here to the character. Now it zooms into the character halfway through. And right here where it zooms in, I'm going to add a blur effect to the video clip. So let's go to the effects tab and go down to blur, Gaussian blur. Let's add that onto the video clip. And then we need to add a shape mask and I need to disable this so that we can see the shape mask. I'm going to add this to the top 
to the top half of the video clip so that down here we have it in focus. And then as it zooms in, let's set a keyframe here, set that to zero. And then once it's zoomed in, we can add some blur to the background as if the camera has like changed focus. And then we can re-enable our character. Now we have this cool focus port effect. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.